what is good with y'all man so ea just got done their special stream and i'll be honest they gave us a lot of information they gave us some information about power-ups you can see it right here they showed us the entire first promo the headliners promo we saw all the cards for that we got to see all the team captains they gave us information about the mutt master so we got a lot of information we're gonna go through and run through this whole thing uh first up here you can see we got information on the power-ups so they say our team is dialing back the frequency of the power-ups this year however they are preserving some of the aspects of the power-ups on other elite items so basically what it sounded like to us what they were telling us is that power-ups are really only it sounds like they're only on legends like it sounds like there's really no power-ups this year and you're probably wondering well what about how you're going to change cards cams etc etc like that so basically uh you can still change so for example right i'm not going to spoil anything but a certain eagle that is uh actually I, I, jordan poyer for example right? they revealed a, that one jordan poyer like he'll have the bills chem on him but when you go into the car just like how you would with a power up you can change his team chem so that's pretty good you can change your team chems uh another thing they told us was baked in abilities because you know some of these cards for the uh have baked in abilities because you know the first promo of the year always has some of those cards with baked in abilities basically uh you can take those off if you want to if you don't want to leave them on you can take them off so that's pretty cool so basically though with power-ups um there really isn't that many power-ups it sounds like power-ups are kind of like they're not going to be on that many cards. They really only said it's going to be on... The only th pr thing they told us is power-ups will be on Legends. And it sounds like that's it. So that's a W if you ask me because nobody wants to deal with power-ups. All right. So we got the Mutt Master info here. So basically how Mutt Master is kind of going to work this year is there isn't one... like there is, It's honestly not even a Mutt Master. So basically every series, I think they said that it's going to be five cards and every series it's going to be like five new cards so there is no more one month master but you still have to grind like certain challenges or do certain things to get like uh you know to get the cards overall higher or etc etc so basically you know it's not one guy the entire year it's you know five guys then five new guys every season so it's definitely kind of different it's going to be a, it brings a lot more new names to the game Personally, I don't really mind it. I know a lot of people don't really like it, but uh, obviously they'll get all team chems. They didn't reveal who the first ones are going to be. They just told us it'll be about five guys. So personally, I don't know. I mean, it, I'm fine with it. All right, so now this is the headliners promo. This is uh, the first promo for the year. We got to see all the cards for it. These are the uh, the low overall golds. There's still more golds. You see, we got a uh, Darrell Taylor for the Seahawks. I'm just going to kind of run through these guys. Adam uh, Trotman for the Saints. We got Ogabana. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I, I can't say his name, but for the Texans, I can see he's got a Rams jersey. Uh, Sam Cosme. Osa. I ain't going to lie. Some of these guys' names are crazy. Uh, Randall Moore. Or Rondell Moore. He should be kind of fast. Uh, Mac Wilson. Ben. Yeah. All right. Uh, we got Kyle Trask, a QB, and Grant Delpit. So those are the low overall gore, uh, low overall gold core low overall gold cards for the uh, headliners promo so right here what we have is the higher gold items for the headliners promo you see we got eric stokes who is i think he's kind of tall so he could be a w for the packers maybe as long as they you know give him some nice stats uh rashad batman bateman i always call him batman uh for the ravens trey lance he's getting a card you know he could be maybe a budget beast maybe uh joe trayton shiyanka i got some of these guys names are insane uh joseph no boom i there's no way that's how you pronounce his name but uh cameron bynum uh julian uh okara and Kadarius tony so those are the high roll goals all right so now we are on to the 82s and you can see for the first one we got milton williams i'll be honest this is the first eagle out of uh three so it's two more uh i'll be honest I did not expect to see Milton Williams here, maybe as like a core gold or something, but I did not expect him to get an 82, but here he is, Milton Williams, 77 speed, he's got 81 excel, 80 block shed, 80 strength, his power move, finesse move are pretty bad, but I mean, hey, if you want a, you know, a solid budget D tackle to start the year for the Eagles team, team I'll be honest, this is possibly who I'm going to be going with, I'm not going to lie to you um 77 speed though for a d tackle is actually really good uh, that's probably the only thing he kind of has going for him but hey it's I'll, I'll take it i'll take it so we got john runyon who is the son of john runyon that played for the eagles he obviously does not get chem for us even though i feel like maybe we should have like a bloodline camera or something you know what i mean i don't know uh but yeah 
he doesn't look too bad. He's nothing too crazy. I'm sure Packers team teams are uh, happy about him. I actually did use one of his cards in Madden 22. I think he got one. It was like a free zero chill card you could get or whatever. Oh, and actually, speaking of free cards, basically, if you pre-ordered the game, I think before they said July 22nd, all these 82s that I'm showing you right now, basically, you get to pick one of these guys for free. So basically, you actually, if you pre-order the game for July 22nd, you got the all Madden edition. You can actually get Milton Williams for free. So... Yeah, I'm definitely going to use Milt Williams because I'm going to get him for free. Up here we got Mikhail Walker, middle linebacker. He's got 80 speed, uh, 84 hit power. I think they said this guy is tall, like 6'3 or something, if I'm not mistaken. So not too bad, you know, bigger guy. And we got James Conner, uh, power back. Yeah, they definitely did James Conner dirty on the speed. 82 overall and only 79 speed. Definitely not a very good look. Change of direction is not very good. I mean, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Connor, they did him dirty. We got some more 82s here. We got Elijah Moore. He's got 84 speed, 86 catch. Uh, his route running isn't anything too crazy. He's cool. A Jets theme team. I, I think he's a little, I think he's sm a smaller receiver. I don't know how tall Elijah Moore is, but uh, he's cool for the Jets theme team. Now, this card right here, I'll be honest, Caleb Far Farley. I think that's how you say his name. 87 speed this is the fastest card that we've seen yet so um and i'll be honest i don't want to spoil it but i think there is another card faster than that they showed so 87 speed you know now we're looking at this and we're you know i don't know i feel like these speed ratings are like just really random that they have going around this year like you know for example you got denzel ward who only has 84 speed fred warner i think he had what 85 86 speed you know what i mean so I don't know, the speed ratings, are, I feel like are just a little random right now. First, 86 overall, we got Quiddy Pay. You can see he comes with the built-in abilities. I think this is a speedster. I'm not sure what the actual X factor is, but he comes with speedster. Like I said, if you want, you can actually take those abilities off if you don't want to use them. So that is a W. Uh, but he's got 81 speed, 85 block shed, 86 power move, 84 strength. So... This guy looks pretty good. Next up here, we got Gabriel Davis. Uh, they said he comes with outside apprentice. He's got 85 speed. He got 86 deep route runs. So yeah, this guy is pretty good. I think he's not like too small. I think he's running like six foot or something like that. So this is actually a pretty good receiver to start the years. And like I say, he comes with a free ability. So this card right here, right? Donald uh, Parman Jr. I'll be honest, I have no idea who the guy is. He comes with deep at elite. Uh, supposedly this guy's supposed to be six foot eight. Six foot eight. 85 speed. He's got 85 short route and 86 catching. This guy looks like a prop. Mind you, he's deep out of lead. He comes with this card is could be completely broken. So uh, I'll be honest. I think you get some of these cards for free. We'll look at the end. Like uh, there's like these challenges. I guess they kind of showed you could do it. It's this thing called like the field pass or something. People were thinking, is it a battle pass you have to pay for? It. You don't have to pay for it. It's basically just like I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's like the season thing or it's just, I don't know what it is. It's just ways you get more cards and. We'll, we'll get to it at the end. Next up here, we got Divine Diablo. I'm not sure what he comes with. Uh, I want to assume it's either no outsiders or inside stuff. I'm not going to lie. My power actually went out at this part right here, so I didn't really get to see what was going on for a lot of this part, so I'm not sure what ability he comes with, but he's outside linebacker, 86 speed. is pretty crazy, and look, if safeties are not going to be good anymore at linebacker positions, then Di Di Divine Diablo is going to be pretty good i'm not gonna lie second eagle is an interesting name we got carson wentz carson wentz i mean hey eagles Colts, washington i think he comes with a red zone dead eye which is interesting ability to give carson wentz but uh he's got 79 speed 86 throw power you see his accuracies are really good he actually looks pretty good um it sucks though because i you know i would like to pick this card up equals theme team hey let's get it but i did say day one i'm gonna use Jalen hurts so maybe i just use Jalen hurts the first day and then get carson wentz i don't know it depends we gotta see what card Jalen hurts gets if Jalen hurts gets like a team builder or something i'm going with Jalen hurts but this carson wentz card does not look bad at all and we all know carson wentz cards play really good at ultimate team but now we are on to the champions two champions you got one offense one defense these are the highest overall cards we got 89 overall legerius sneedy comes with pick artist 88 speed this is the fastest player we've seen yet you know tyree kill is probably going to be like 89 speed so um we went from thinking the cap speed was like maybe 86 87 to now you got sneed at 88 you know tyree's probably going to be like 90 so the speed is already just from one promo has jumped up dramatically uh from the very first promo but 88 speed he's got 86 press 84 zone 89 man yeah this guy 
He's pretty nice. For the offensive champion, we got Joe Mixon. So Joe Mixon already getting his second card of the year. He comes with, I think that is backfield mismatch. So that's actually a pretty good ability. I'm not going to lie to you. He's got 86 speed, 86 truck, 88 brake tackle, 85 change of direction. Joe Mixon's looking really nice. So uh, I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty good champion. They're really good. This mixing card is, uh, he's really nice. So now we're on to the team captains. You guys know the team captain is four every year. You get to pick one. You can switch them out. They get all team chems. Uh, first up, we got Keyshawn Johnson. Now, obviously, um, these cards, I think he, they said they can either get maxed out at an 88 overall or an 89 overall. I'm not sure. I can't remember. This might be the card, I think, maxed out. I don't think it goes up to 89. It might just be 88. But Keyshawn, imagine him, like I said, on whatever theme team you're using because he gets all team chems so this and he mind you i think he shows like six foot four so this car is pretty good so we got a fullback larry zonka i think a fullback's not a bad choice for a team captain because for example like the eagles were a team we usually never you know we just never had fullbacks in our team's history so this is actually probably a really w pick for us just because this will help out with the theme team and stuff like that and he's not even bad either but you know, if you don't use a fullback, then he's kind of just there for the cameras. Right here, we got a D tackle, Sam Adams. To be honest, not really too sure who this guy is, but he looks pretty good. I mean, 88 power move, 78 speed. He looks like a pretty big guy. Uh, this could be another good choice for a team captain as well. And the last team captain, we got a true eagle. He's a true eagle. We got Eric Allen. The last time we saw Eric Allen was in Madden 21. If you guys remember, I think he had got like a team of the week card or something like that. The Eagles secondary is going to be looking nice, man. I, I mean, I definitely got to go with Eric Allen. Eric, you got to think about it. You get him. Eric Allen, Darius Slay, probably James Bradbury. It's going to be either James Bradbury or Avante Maddox. It depends who gets a better card. But the Eagles secondary is going to be nice. You already see we got Jordan Poyer. So the Eagles secondary is looking nice. He's got 86 speed, 85 zone, 86 press, 87, man. I think Eric Allen is a little bit smaller. I think he's like 5'10", 5'11", but... I played the beta. Some of these small guys, if they're in the right position, they make plays. So, um, W guard. Now, what we're going to be looking at is the top 10 elite quarterbacks uh, for Madden 23. Uh, so, let's go ahead and look at these guys. At number 10, you see we got Kyler Murray with an 83 overall. He is an improviser. 83 speed, 83 throw power. I think that free Lamar Jackson car that you get for the pre-order for the uh, all Madden, He's faster than him, and he has more throw power. So if you're thinking between those two, I'd probably go Lamar. Number nine, we got Russell Wilson with a 84 overall. Uh, he's got 78 speed, 84 throw power, some nice accuracies. Russell looks pretty good. He usually has a pretty decent release as well. For eight, we got Dak Prescott at an 84 overall, 77 speed, 84 throw power. All accuracies look like they're above 82, so... Dak, you usually look, he, he looks pretty good. He's usually got a decent release, but obviously there's going to be a lot more better options than Russell Wilson, Dak Prescott, and Kyler Murray. Seven, we got Joe Burrow. And now, by the way, it sounds like with the quarterback archetypes, they took away strong arms. So it sounds like it's just field general, improviser, and scrambler now. So I guess they're combining strong arms and field generals. But yeah, Joe, 85. Uh, 71 speed is pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. He's got 85 throw power, some nice accuracies. I would assume he gets like set feet lead or something like that at 85. Uh, it just sucks because he has no mobility. Got Stafford at number six, 85 overall, and also a field general. And that's what I'm saying because you know Stafford's usually a strong arm, so people are guessing they just kind of combined them. He has even less speed, 63 speed, but he's got 87 throw power. Uh, I would assume Stafford probably has a decent release five we got justin herbert at a 86 overall he's got 78 speed 87 throw power really good accuracies he's the best quarterback we've seen so far but as we know in the last couple of madness justin herbert has a really bad release so unless they fix his release i don't know if people are going to go with justin herbert even though he looks really good before we got tom brady the og at an 86 overall uh 57 speed 85 throw power he's got some nice accuracies though uh I mean, honestly, Brady is, I don't, I don't know where I could see you going with Tom Brady. If you're like a diehard Patriots fan theme team, if you're like a diehard Bucks fan. You got the theme team. That's the only way, because besides that, I don't know about Brady. So we got Aaron Rodgers, 87 overall. He's an improviser archetype. I'm interested to see what kind of abilities Rodgers will get at an 87 at improviser. Like, is he, you know, can we maybe get set feet lead? Can he get anything good? Because, you know, those field general guys, they're going to at least get set feet lead. But what is Rodgers going to get? Uh, he's got 72 speed, 87 throw power. Accuracies are really good, but you know, we all know accuracies stat is kind of overrated in Madden. It's it, it just is. I feel like the biggest thing for me is always 
what abilities does the guy get? How fast is he? How much arm? How much of an arm does he got? And what's his release? And Rodgers has a good release. He's got the arm. Uh, I mean, he should be he should be fine just because the beginning of the year. And you know what I mean. Not really a lot of people are gonna have abilities and just really budget teams and it's a lot of random things to be in there. So Rodgers with if he does have the release he always gets, then he should be fine. So we got Patrick uh Patrick Mahomes. He's an 87 overall improviser. You can see they definitely upped his speed a little bit. Uh, he's got 78 speed. Usually he's one of the slowest quarterbacks in Madden, which I don't understand why they always make him like that. But this year they actually gave him some decent speed. He's got the 87 throw power. Uh, he looks really good. He kind of looks like the Justin Herbert card a little bit, except Herbert has a better archetype. Number one, the highest overall quarterback in the game, we got Josh Allen at 88 overall. And okay, and I actually just realized Josh Allen is a strong arm quarterback, which I'll be honest, that's interesting because, you know, you know I'm not sure why Stafford or like maybe Fields didn't get strong arm. Well, at least Stafford. You would have definitely thought Stafford got strong arm. So I guess never mind. I guess strong arm still is an archetype in the game. Definitely interesting okay never mind but yeah Allen's a strong arm 88 overall 80 speed 89 throw power he's obviously the best qb in the game easily this guy is a monster uh probably gonna cost you a lot of coins there's obviously a lot of other good quarterbacks you can go pick up if you don't want to get josh allen but uh allen does look very good these are the rewards you can get for the headliners field pass that was kind of what i was talking about earlier the field pass i guess for like every like uh new program or something they're gonna have this thing called a field pass where it says, it says, make progress on the headliners field pass by completing 31 different objectives. And I guess you'll basically get a bunch of different rewards. Like you see here, you'll get coins and season pass XP. And season pass is basically just like, uh, it's not a battle pass or anything where you have to pay for it. I said, uh, you don't have to do that. It's just basically like the series or whatever, I guess. That's what it sounds like. Uh, you get a 74 plus overall headliners player, 78 to 79 overall headline, headliners player, headliners field pass player, 86. So out of all the 86s I showed you, I'm not sure if you get to pick one or if it's like a random one you get, but you get 86. Uh, then you get an 86 overall headliners hero fantasy pack. Okay, so the fantasy pack, yes. Uh, okay, so actually that's what they said. The BND is basically like NAT or whatever, or like NCAT. You know how they had that at L22. That's what that is, even though I don't know what BND stands for. Uh, the fantasy pack, I'm guessing you would get to pick one. And then the last one is 86 overall headliner heroes uh, fantasy pack. So. Maybe you get two. So honestly, hey, we could get Carson Wentz for free if you really want to. That would be the plan. Even though, like I said, I'm going with Jalen Hurts day one, day one. If Jalen Hurts only gets a core goal, then I'm probably only going to use Jalen Hurts day one. Then I'm going to actually take my wording, uh, like to the extreme exact and only use him for day one because that's what I did. Ask him, I'm going to use him day one, and if he doesn't get a good card, then after day one, I'll be honest, I got to use Carson Wentz. Hey, look, it's the Eagles. I run Eagles team. That's what I do, but. Overall, all this looks like a W. I'm assuming uh, tomorrow they got more cards that are going to be revealing. Now for headliners, that's it for the headliners. Uh, I don't remember what it's going to be tomorrow. Whatever positions they haven't really revealed yet. So Eagles State team, I think it's a W. We got a couple. We, we got some birds. I'm not going to complain. Let me know what you guys think about all this so far. Definitely, I'll be honest. I'm excited. Uh, I'm going to keep covering all the news they got coming out. And uh, we are going to be live over on Twitch uh, as soon as this video is up. I'm going live on Twitch, so that's pretty much going to do it, though, boys. Like, comment, subscribe, man, and your boy is out.